Assalamu alaikum ninjas, ahlan wa sahlan bikum. Welcome back to another unboxing and hands-on review. Today I'm having another rocket smartphone from Doji Company. This is the Doji S90C Ninjas, so you can buy it on banggood.com for 200 bucks, 200 dollars. This is flash sale promotion, which is three more days, three more days ninjas. So use this promotion. This is, in my opinion, probably the best rocket smartphone that you can buy for this uh, price tag. And also it's a modular uh, smartphone, rocket smartphone, because you can buy additional more expensive package, which is $160 more expensive. You get uh, extra battery. Just a minute, focus, focus. Let's see here. So yeah, this is what you get with the modular. If you're gonna go with it, Ninjas, you can get, you're gonna get game mode, you're gonna get gamepad, you're gonna get uh, walkie-talkie, you're gonna get additional, uh, basically, a battery package, a power mode, or night vision camera mode, like you see by yourself. Crazy, crazy deal. For $160, you get these four more gadgets if you are into these uh, things. Uh, and if you need a really uh, interesting and versatile uh, the rugged smartphone, this is a really great, great package. Uh, for $200, uh, without these packages, still the best buy, in my opinion. Let's begin now with unpo unboxing and see what do we get inside of this huge box. Here we go, Ninjas. Some manuals from Doji Company, user manuals. So you get uh, Type-C USB cable. You get the charger, uh, let's check it out. It is 9 volts equal, uh, let's see, 12 volts equal 2 amperes, or 7 volts equal 3 amperes, or 5 volts equal 3 amperes. Not bad, so it's a fast, fast charger, Ninjas. Remember that, Halo P70 does support fast charging. Pin top and our SIM tray, here we have the smartphone. So let's put our hands, oh my god, that's a bright screen over there. Here we go ninjas, here is the beast, like you see by yourself it comes with a notch, not bad, not bad, again you're gonna have here the sensors and the earpiece, which is really interesting. Uh, anyway, it also has these four orange colors uh, rubbers, probably they're gonna protect uh, also your screen, so this is also really nice touch. Anyway, let's begin, so ninjas, what are the main selling points of this uh, device, uh, the Doji S90C, 6.18 inch full HD plus screen, Helio P70 uh, chipset, uh, Armani G72 3 core GPU, uh, we're clocked at 900 megahertz, it's very powerful GPU for this price tag. We have 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, IP68, IP69K, and uh, MIL STD 810 grade uh, shockproof uh, uh, certification. We have face uh, face unlocking and we have uh, fingerprint sensor on the back, like you see by yourself. I'm gonna just show you in a minute. Full Netcom support 4G, sur uh, survival software pack. We have dual cameras on the back and front selfie camera, 8 megapixel front selfie camera, 5050 uh, mAh battery, and we have a 10 watts, uh, watts wireless charging plus NFC. So this device has wireless charging support, uh, NFC, and 5050 mAh battery with a quick, quick super uh, turbo charging mode. This is really impressive. This is really impressive for $200. What do you get? Anyway, so let's see here regarding the buttons. So on the back, on the right side, wait a minute, uh, is this here? Is the camera shutter. So this is the SOS, uh, SOS button. We have here the SIM tray. You can see for yourself, you can open it. SD card support, you can also put SD card if you want. We have one, two, three, four screwers. We also have rubbers around the corners. All four, uh, four corners have rubbers. Also, uh, basically they have two uh, screws, screws, which is really interesting there. This is really uh, great. And it is heavy. This device that is heavy in just, it's about 250 grams. Anyway, uh, we have volume rocker and power button on the right side. And also we have the camera shutter button. This is obviously for the water, uh, water, uh, water function when you are in side of the river, sea, lake, whatever you are, and Type-C USB port, which is covered, remember that. You can't still, it's really difficult uh, to get a rugged smartphone which has open, waterproof uh, port, Type-C USB port. That's really, really uh, hard to find for the price tag. Sensors, proximity light sensor, 8 megapixel front selfie camera, and of course, like I mentioned, it is there, the, what we mentioned there, what we mentioned, what did we mention there, the earpiece, yes. Dual cameras on the back, fingerprint sensor, and it has quad LED light or two dual flashlights, you can see by itself, very interesting, and we have mics, it seems, on the back. Plus, we have the part for attaching the modulars, uh, like the walkie-talkie additional, like I showed you, the night vision mode, etc, etc. So, let's go now immediately here quickly to show you uh, the settings and and which, the, which Android version this device is running about the smartphone. We're gonna go down there and check the Android version is 9 and the re security patch is from December, so it's around three months old in just remember that. Not bad, I mean, not bad, not really great, but it's not, it's still not bad. Uh, Android version, bye. There you go. Beautiful, anyway, let's now move to the display test. 
Hey, Gonijas, this play is, wow, I have to admit, uh, really amazing for this price tag. Again, you could get AMOLED panel uh, in a standard smartphone, but this is not AMOLED panel. For $200, yes, there's a Xiaomi Mi A3 example, 200 bucks. What else we have? Okay, <laughs> we don't have that much smartphones with AMOLED panel. We have maybe older ones for, from two, three years old, if you're gonna use a second hand one. Anyway, so we have a 6.18 full HD in-cell screen. So this is in-cell screen, it has, it has Corning Gorilla Glass 4 protection. So it's Corning Gorilla Glass 4 protection. Have that in mind, this is not Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Full HD plus resolution, 403 PPI. It has also glow mode enabled, so you can use glows. But remember that special glows, which uh, can be used with the smartphones which offer this feature. You can't use every single glow, so just have that in mind, okay? Uh, which is really interesting. Uh, I didn't know that uh, when I've been traveling uh, with my friends and on the gas station, they gave us uh, special glows for the use uh, for usage with the smartphones. In, <laughs> you know, randomly, randomly, I discovered that. Anyway, uh, the screen brightness, let me just show you if I can do it from here. There you go. I wish they can go to more minimum. Uh, this is really uh, bright for a minimum, uh, the lowest uh, brightness. It's really, really bright for the indoor use uh, at the night. So they should maybe fix it and make it lower. But for now, uh, I completely, I'm completely, i completely satisfied by the display. Really nice colors, color production. Uh, the brightness is also decent. The screen viewing angles are also more than good. This is Incel technology. This is not IPS LCD. This is Incel technology. And just uh, more advanced. Obviously, we have those older IPS LCD panels. But right now, the IPS LCD uh, is getting better and better. And also, we do, we do, have, we do know that we have the LP, LTPS, uh, which is also uh, close to the AMOLED, uh, uh, AMOLED screens in regarding the in uh, the screen viewing angles the viewing angles beautiful anyway let's go next also using here the split screen option works really flawlessly here I don't feel any lag whatsoever using the gallery on the bottom and using the YouTube on the top no lags Halo P70 is really great SOC remember that in just let's go now with the speaker uh, test audio test speakers on the back Somebody stopped it. Let's go next. Wow. Nice speaker, and just for two hundred dollars, it's a really nice speaker. The loudness from one to ten, I'm giving it seven. The quality from one to ten, I'm giving it eight. I'm completely satisfied by the speaker quality. Remember, when you're gonna have it in the water, you have to use a hair dryer to blow uh, the water inside of it, or just wait maybe a few hours. But just have that in mind, then the speaker uh, uh, quality will be different after you take it out from the water. For now, I am satisfied. Good job, Doji. Ah, uh, yes, time for the mic test. I recorded something. One, two, one, two, this is the mic check, Doji S90C, my mouth is 40 centimeters away. One, two, one, two, this is the mic check, mic check, my mouth is just a few centimeters away, check it out. Not bad, just from one to ten, I'm giving it seven. I'm giving it seven for a rocket smartphone, this is decent. Not the best in the world, but it's decent, it just is decent. Yeah, we got time for the benchmarks and the score, of course, the uh, chipset, the performance mode of the Doji S90C. Halo P70, I reviewed, this is probably my 10th smartphone with this chipset. This is, uh, like you see myself, this is the score for the uh, Helio P70. Not bad, not bad for a rugged device. Here we have the Geekbench 5 also, Halo P70, octa-core chipset clocked at 2.0 GHz, uh, built on 12 nanometer FinFET uh, processor chip, ARM Mali G72, 3-core GPU. We're going to test also PUBG in this review, so please make sure to stay tuned. We have 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. Also, the GPS signal uh, locks at 2 meters, not bad. Again, the signal is not that strong, but again, this is kind of a rugged smartphone. Uh, it's not like Samsung S20 or OnePlus 7 or Xiaomi Mi 10, so don't expect like really amazing GPS navigation with this one uh, regarding the strength of the GPS but the accuracy it's good uh, two meter locks at two meters okay uh, we're gonna test also here right now uh, ninjas we're gonna go through device information after that we're gonna test the speed test and opening uh, reopening the apps and uh, RAM management of the 
Doji S90C. You can pause this video if you are interested in more detail, uh, detailed specs. Of course, I don't, I can't talk about everything because the review will be like more than half hour, maybe even one hour close. So you can just pause this video if you are interested in more in-depth details. The sensors, yes, this device has also barometer and gyroscope, magnometer, proximity, light, and accelerometer. SD card support is up to quarter of terabytes, so 256 gigabytes available. Uh, anyway, let's continue next. Now we're gonna go to, do I have here AIDA64? I have AIDA64. I'm gonna go show a little bit the AIDA64 specs here, informations, 12 nanometer chip technology, OpenGL ES 3.2 version. Okay, not bad. And thermals for the regular use, permission is not available. I'm gonna give you available to you. Okay, not bad, man. Normal, normal. There's no overheating here issues. Anyway, let's go now quickly here with uh, opening, reopening the apps. I mean, reopening the apps. Check it out. They are already in the RAM management and check it out how fast it is. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I have to say that this is really interesting uh, uh, animations. Check this out. That is so fast. Honestly, this is really fast. Uh, I don't know how, what they've done in their software, but this is the first time I'm seeing these kind of uh, an, uh, animations that it looks like you are sliding. It's like a slideshow of the apps open in the RAM management. Check it out. That is very impressive how quick this is. Crazy, crazy impressive. I think uh, most of you will agree with me that this is really amazing for a uh, rugged smartphone under $200 that you can open these apps in this style and the, in this speed. Anyway, that's it. Let's go now with the Face ID and fingerprint sensor. Okay, I set up the Face ID. Let's begin. One, two, three. Okay, not bad, in just it's under maybe 0 0.6 uh, 0 .6 seconds. That's that's fast. That's fast for rocket smartphone. For a Dodgy device, also let's go with the fingerprint sensor on the back. Okay. Okay. I can feel the vibration here, but sometimes I do have miss, miss. So it's not like a really true 360 degrees recognition feature, but not bad. From one to 10, I'm giving it eight in jazz. Okay, now all of them are successful. Interesting, at the beginning it wasn't successful. Again, from one to 10, I'm giving it eight score for face ID and fingerprint sensor. It's there, so you can use it. Okay, just so a little bit uh, through the settings. Uh, remember Android 9 Pi, we have it. Uh, you're not gonna want 99%, you're not gonna have uh, Android 10 update with this device for sure. NFC support, Bluetooth. Uh, uh, let's go and continue next. Apps and permissions, battery, display. Uh, regarding the display, can you use here uh, Myra Vision? You can use the Myra Vision if you want to go. Brightness level, night level. So you can use also the night level. Turn it on, you can see myself. Always use this option at the night. Let's go back. What do we else? We have top screen display which is really interesting, you can hide the high screen top, you can see myself how it looks like, just like hide it. What else we have in the font size, display size, and screen saver. Navigation bar also, there is no navigation bar can be hidden, but there's no option to use the off-screen gestures, Ninja. So you can't use off-screen gestures with the Doji software, it seems so, the Android skin of, the soft, of this Doji. Anyway, storage, memory, advanced features, one-handed mode. We have also custom key function, which is on the left side. Tell for the uh, motion, system motion or smart. Uh, of course, this is the gesture motions. SOS call, sorry for that. This is the SOS call. This is the custom button over here, which is also using used probably by the, for the camera. Let's let's just enter it, camera. Yeah, not the camera, I just took the picture, I saw it. Dura speed, security and location, accounts, accessibility, gesture wake up. You can also use the double uh, tap wake up if you want to use that. So let's just test it. There you go, it uh, unlocked it. Let's go back, gesture up, down. You know these ones, these are standard from Bluetooth, uh, from the Android 6. Fingerprint sensor, performance mode. This device also has, this uh, will cause excessive power consumption. Please turn it on when using a large application. So like gaming, I, I don't think that's gonna help at all. Uh, anyway, you just this is it regarding. I showed you here the la language, uh, the languages usually like with Doji and uh, Yellow Phone, Elephone, you get all the languages in the world, so you don't have to worry about that. 
Uh, battery life, 5,050 mAh, uh, mAh battery in just a really, really impressive battery for this device. Uh, you can get around, uh, watching YouTube, uh, they say the Doji said around 18 hours, but uh, in real life, it's around 12 hours in just 12 hours. Ga gaming, they say, can get 10 hours, impossible. In real life, it's around 6 hours. So again, I don't know why they're giving fake information. I mean, this is really impressive, even this is still really impressive battery life, 5,050 mAh battery is really, really impressive for the uh, price tag itself. So gonna be satisfied, two days of use with the Doji S90C for sure. Heavy, heavy use, one day, full one day. And just this is the front selfie camera test. See myself, oh my god, what a wide camera lens, I have to admit. That is so wide. That is so wide. Unbelievable. But this is a really great thing. This is honestly my opinion, this is a really great thing. The Pro for such a uh, device, a budget device uh, in the Rocket smartphone world. Let's go next. Match, let's go. Doji S90C PUBG test here, Ninjas. 60 FPS unlocked using the GFX tool. Bravo, 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 Doji. Ah, he killed me! How, bro? About four of them there. How is that possible, bro? I don't get it. Nice. Man, it's very smooth. Halo P70 is a really great chipset. This is amazing gameplay, in my opinion. Nice! What a kill, what a kill, bro. Headshot. <laughs> Four kills, bro. Nice. Helio P17 is 2020. In 2020. After domination. He killed me. Call of Duty with the Doji S90C rugged smartphone. Helio P70. Speakers are really loud here uh, with the, while gaming. Satisfied. Ah, oh, he came from my back. I knew it's somebody. I could hear somebody. Let's go next. He's the bomb. Invincible. Who killed him? Nice. Minor assistance. Ha! <laughs> 